Hi, I'm Sierra, and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on Camera Lucida. I haven't gotten very far into this yet. I have only downloaded the app and opened it up once. I haven't gotten any further than actually opening the app. I haven't loaded any videos or anything. I have seen a few of the trailers for it, so I do know a little bit about it. So, if I open up the app right here, it takes me to this cool screen. This is as far as I've gotten. I haven't gone any further into it. Um, I believe if you hit this information button in the top right corner, then it pulls up some help if you've never done anything with it, like I have. So let's say that I was having problems, there's contact support, I could rate the app, I can ask questions, I could watch tutorials. So if I click on that, it pulls up a whole bunch of tutorials. Got a whole lot of things, an introduction, which is really nice. But let's say that I am very antsy to just get into it, or I have like a deadline or something that I want to work on. So I'm just going to try and go for it without really watching any tutorials on it. So I believe it's got all these little nice menus down here. And I'm going to click on this one. And I think this is how you pull up photos. I guess I have nothing. <laughs> so let's click away from that one. And then I go over here and I have photos of my dog because who doesn't have photos of their dog on their phone or on their iPad. So I'm going to go to all photos and this is when he was taking a nap. So I'm going to just pull up this one. This is Merlin. He is our corgi and he likes to take naps. So now I've got a bunch of options that have popped up. I've got the little cloud symbol. I already tried that. The book symbol I pulled up. I can take a picture with this one, I believe. So here you can see my setup. So it looks like if I tap, oh, it actually moves it, and you can see underneath where the paper is. What does this button do? Oh, it looks like I can adjust my opacity, how much I can see. That is very helpful. And if you go underneath, you can see my hand here. Looks good. And then you can see my dog, Merlin. So let's leave it at about right there so I can see my hand still a little bit, but I can also see the paper. And I don't know what this does. Oh, okay, it applies a bunch of layers and effects to it. So if I wanted my dog to be very dramatic, I could make him black and white. I could make him blurry, There's a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna just leave him at the original right now because he's perfect the way he is. And I am going to see what this button does. Okay, so it looks like I can have a flashlight on and off, a vertical slider. Uh, I can record if I want, but I'm gonna not deal with that right now. So, say I don't want to do that. Let's say I go here instead, it looks like that's the save button. Oh, okay, so that's probably how I save when I'm done. I'm gonna not do that for now. And then this, oh, then it lets you do it vertical too. That's really handy. And now he's upside down. Okay, and then you can add, adjust a bunch of layers. Oh, that's real nice. So if your photo wasn't very good, then you'd actually be able to make it better. But I'm gonna just leave it the way it was for now. And let's say that I'm going to start to draw. So it looks like I need to adjust my paper placement just a little bit. Scooch that over here. So I'm going to leave this corner here so you can see about where I'm drawing and the difference between the, the paper itself and the table underneath. So now let's try drawing him. I have a few options. It's just a normal pencil with a eraser that may or may not be actually good. So I have an actual eraser here just in case the other one's not working. Other options that I've seen in the trailers for it are charcoal pieces. All I have on me right now though is some vine charcoal, so I think I'm going to stick with the pencil and paper just because I also feel like that's what most people have access to. So let's start and see what we can do about drawing. So let's say that I am going to do a little bit of drawing around his eye. If you've ever drawn with a tablet, it kind of feels like that. But this is kind of small, 
really hard to see, so I'm going to see if I can zoom in. And actually, now you can see my eye, the eye that I'm drawing is way zoomed in. So if I'm going to try and do sort of shading around it. And it's actually really handy to be able to zoom. So, zoom back out again. If I lower the opacity again, you can see that... It doesn't move it's pretty stable and then if I pull it up all the way I can see what I've drawn and that is something I've discovered when I'm doing digital artwork usually is that I have to adjust the opacity anyway because I am trying so hard to, to see what I'm actually drawing over a sketch so this is really handy it has that feature in there so I'm gonna just draw a little bit more and see what happens Okay, so I worked a little bit of time on this, maybe 5-10 minutes, and this is what I have got. I'll have a better picture later also for you guys. And it's really intuitive, it's not difficult at all. I'm not good at drawing animals, which is why I chose an animal to draw. I can see this being really helpful for if you wanted to practice lighting exercises, or if you just needed an outline for something. Uh, I know it has a lot of other uses with different other mediums too, so I look forward to trying those on this, like watercolor or charcoal. So, you can see the difference, I didn't move it too much, but that is something to watch out for, don't move your, <laughs> your tablet. But, you can see the before with him snoozing, and the after. So. I actually really want to keep working on this. So I'm going to keep doing that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!